Magandang araw, oras na para sa pinakabagong balita sa lagay ng panahon at sa mundo ng science and technology. Ako po si Jel Miranda and we welcome you to DOS TV, Science for the People. Masasabi na sila ang mga pinakabatang miyembro ng science community may angking husay sa siyensya at matematika. Sila ay mga Pisay students o mga estudyante ng Philippine Science High School System na pinangangasiwaan ng Department of Science and Technology. Ating balikan ang kanilang kwento dito lamang sa aming sinisiyensya. Our vision for the next few years is to become the leading science high school in the Asia Pacific. Our mandate is to prepare students for STEM careers. So those who are high in aptitude in science and math, they need to be prepared and encouraged so that they will pursue with the purpose of course of nation building. There are a lot of science high schools in the country. You know? What sets us apart is first we are able to get the top students. They have the aptitude for science and math, and they are passionate about it. Uh, a lot of them are gifted students, really. So the kind of, that kind of distinction really sets us apart. The other thing is that most of our teachers are specialists. We prefer taking in teachers who are specialized in their field, so they really know the content and they really try to do things experientially. This scholarship is not just for you to get ahead in life. It's for you to become the better version of yourself so you could help other Filipinos. I was po ako ng Pisay at DOST sa scholarship ko kasi pinakita nila sa akin yung kahalagahan talaga ng ng math at sciences sa buhay ng tao. Pinili ko nga na magpisay para pag tumulong ako sa bansa natin, mas gusto ko na makatulong ng may specialization sa sciences. Nung elementary ako, nalaman ko about Philippine science. Sa news ka yata, isa news eh, parang merong na news na balita na ah, dyan pala pumubuta yung mga mahilig sa science na students. So, uh, sinabi ko sa nanay ko na uh, I was an elementary student in Calibo, pilot elementary school. My mom was a teacher there and she asked me if I wanted to try it out. The biggest learning that I probably still can remember right now is duty for country. I was very appreciative of the fact that the government paid for my education. So I have to pay it forward. I have, I have to give back. You get to impart knowledge to the students. Because more so than actually teaching the lessons, dito mo ati yung turuan mo skills talaga, how to learn talaga, how to cope with stuff. Na feeling ko importante. So I like this part na talagang nakakatulong ka sa formation talaga as a person. Meron ako mga natutunan after ko graduate ng Pisay na it would have been helpful na natutunan ko during Pisay. Because minsan masad na po focus sa studies sa Pisay na nakakalimutan natin yung mga kailan matutunan sa para makasurvive sa life. 
So, ayun yung medyo sinatry kong import sa students ngayon. Isa sa mga pinaka-important lessons sa class ko is persistence na siguro. Kasi sa design process, magpa-fail ka talaga dyan eh. You're, you're gonna encounter uh, situations na parang hindi gumagana yung project mo, hindi mo na alam ko nagagawin. Pero you have to keep trying, you have to be persistent para maabot mo yung pinaka-magandang solution. Uh, Nag-enjoy ako sa ano, mga exam. Ewan ko kung <laughs> ako lang, pero may mga exam kasi na challenging, tapos masaya pag nakukuha mo. Tapos, nag, uh, ano din kami ng mga kaklas ko na parang pataasan kami ng score, ganyan. Uh, tapos, syempre, yung mga uh, extracurricular, so pag may fair, uh, pag may uh, sports fest, tapos mga uh, prom, syempre. Sometimes, it's not the intelligence that wins the day. Minsan, kailangan talagang yung grit na talagang pagpursigihan mo yan para ipush mong kahit mahirap na, hindi mo naiintindihan, tuloy lang. As advisors, we're asked to integrate yung mga values into our program. So, I try to uh, integrate sa mga homeroom sessions ko yung mga important values starting with integrity. Hindi porke ginagawa ng ibang tao, tama na agad yun. Kailangan alam nila, meron silang sariling paninindigan na alam nila kung ano yung tama. Be respectful, yung paano makisama sa mga ibang tao, ganun yung mga natuturo ko sa kanila. Compared sa dati kong school, mas mataas yung standards na umpisay. Hindi ganun ka limited yung potential, so there's more space for growth. Naka-adjust naman ako kagad. Eh. Kasi parang pinalaki akong maging independent and maging smart sa mga decisions. Masaya sa Pisay. Kasi kung sa school mo noon, uh, ikaw lang yung, or konti lang kayo na mahilig sa science, saka math, yung mga, uh, mga geeks. Pagdating mo sa Pisay, uh, halos lahat kayo uh, mahilig. So parang mahanap mo yung peer group mo, and then you motivate each other. And um, syempre, mahirap yung mga classes. Na-appreciate ko doon at a very young age, high school pa lang, yung natuto talaga kami na mag-isip analytically and problem solving. Nung bago po kasi mag-Pisay, nagtaaral lang po kasi ako sa public school sa Tondo, Manila. Kaya yung tingin ko po talaga sa Pisay noon, parang puro nerds yung nandito, parang masyado matatalino na hindi ko kayang abutin, ganun. Isang araw, biglang tumawag yung Pisay sa amin na pwede akong mag-aral sa Pisay. Mas tumatag pa yung kagustuhan ko na tumulong sa mga kapwa kong Pilipino. Isa din sa mga project na sinimulan ko is, ay yung isang website na pinoyscientists.com. Doon sa website na yon makikita niyo yung mga profile ng mga Filipino scientists na iba-ibang ginagawa, iba-ibang field, may astronomy, may chemistry, may kung ano ka ng geology, biology, actually napakadaming mga fields at kung saan-saan din silang nagtatrabaho, mayroong bata, may matanda, uh, iba-ibang backgrounds. Ang hope ko, intention ko dun sa website na yun is yung mga interested at yung mga sa science majors ngayon, makita nila kung ano yung mga pwede nilang career path na sundan. They can reach out to us scientists and we can help them, guide them on paano nga maging ituloy-tuloy na maging uh, scientist. Last year, we have at least 65 students who went abroad and won awards. We joined the International uh, Math Olympiad and Kyle Dulay won the gold. That's the first uh, gold for the country for a long time. Then we have the International Junior Science Olympiad last December where our students uh, won silver. And then we have this network of international science schools. It's a network where the members are all science high schools from Canada, from UK, from Japan, Korea. Australia and so on and then they have this science fair every year and for two years in a row uh, we won the best project presentation award there even in some um, more advanced competition like math modeling 
we were able to bring home the second uh, place. So we, we competed with the likes of John Monash Science High School, and US Science High School, Korea Science Academy, and we bested them in that uh, competition. As an attached agency of the OSC, we get a lot of support in terms of helping our students. We don't have the facilities that we need for some of their research. So what the students do, they bring it to the facilities of the OST where their specimens can be tested. We have a science immersion and science internship program. So every summer, some of our students would, would go to different labs of the OST and be an apprentice there for two weeks. Uh, the mentoring of students come in play at, at that point. And then uh, for teacher development, we were able to get a grant from HRDP and the Balik Scientist program. So there were times that we posted a Balik Scientist uh, and they would uh, mentor our teachers, conduct workshops, and sometimes we even extend this as an outreach to other schools. And then of course, the grant of a lot of funding. A lot of our students move on from here to college with a, with a scholarship from SEI. And some of our teachers were able to get their uh, graduate degrees because of the scholarship from HRDP, from the OST. So this kind of partnership, the OST has been very helpful in uh, building up the manpower in our school. Right now, with the new K-12, we're trying to build up uh, specialized labs. But we do have a fabrication lab where students can build a prototype. A few years back, we had the Samsung lab. It's a smart classroom that allows students to uh, do their presentations well. My first priority would be getting into a good college and a university, because that would be the start of my specialization, going to be an astrophysicist. And I'll continue with what I'm doing right now, studying as best as I could and being the best version of me that I can, be it in discipline, in being independent, or being a good person to others, all in all. Maswerte nga na sa Philippine Science, and then later on, dun na naging exposed sa mga scientists, physicists, or chemists, depende ko ano na yung specialization mo. Pero, Nabuo na lang yun na maging scientist and in particular physicist and then later on nga na astrophysicist sa high school na and then college hanggang grad school. Pag graduate ko po ng Pisay, ang gusto pong kunin na course ay physics po. Ang gusto ko lang pong talagang mangyari ay makamit ko po yung gusto pong pagbabago para po sa bansa natin. Kaya po pagbubutihin ko po para magawa po yun. Po, kung talaga pong gusto mong mag-science and technology, makakatulong po talaga na dito mag-aral kasi po yung mga equipments po dito. Saka po yung level po ng tinuturo dito, kung ikukumpara po sa ibang high schools, mas advanced po siya. Kasi po, hindi lang naman po puro aral yung ginagawa dito sa Pisay. I think one of the challenges is that we need to be consistent in our growth and yet be dynamic. And with science, there will always be changes. We expect that and we, we actually want that. It also provides growth. For the main campus, the challenge right now is we need to grow beyond our reputation as the best science high school in the Philippines. We want to be uh, more relevant in, in what we teach. I don't believe that I will be where I am right now if I did not graduate from Pisay. Without science and technology, Innovatronics will not be here. No, because we started very small, but we grew because we use science and technology as our basis for our new products. The role of science and technology in nation building. If you think about it now, all the industry, all the things that we use in our daily ay hindi naman mahiwalay sa science at technology. They have to dream. Continue on dreaming. Uh, dream big more than anything else. Second is you must understand that 
for your dreams to become reality, you have to work hard for it. The most challenging part of being a PSI student is the high standards. From the very first day of classes, you have your teachers telling you that you're the cream of the cream of the crop, you're the best of the best. When you start to fail, that's how you learn. If you're perfect at everything, you'll never really grow. Entering Philippine Science, I've discovered that there are so much more important things in life. My ultimate goal in life is to really serve the Filipino people. I guess the most challenging part about being Pisay is the fact that all the workload might seem so much stress, but it's actually not that difficult. After that first day, I've gotten used to the environment somehow, and I learned to love it eventually. Well, the thing about Pisay is that regardless of who you are, regardless of what your personality is. Everybody will give you the opportunity to make yourself better, to improve yourself. The Philippine Science High School has changed my life in so many ways. And I guess that's what defines Pisay. It's the fact that it's something else, it's something different. The country relies on you to be future leaders and wow, that's just really scary. They should serve the nation and do their responsibility as a student to study hard, provided that they learn at the same time they enjoy. Teaching the gifted is a challenging task. You always push yourself to the limits. Although after everything is said and done, after you've completed all these requirements, all these projects, passed and maybe failed all these tests, there's always this sense of fulfillment by the end of the year. And I guess it makes all the hard work worth it. actually do this, we can actually overcome these challenges and be great. Nagbabalik po ang DOS TV Science for the People. Alamin ang latest update sa lagay ng panahon ngayong araw mula sa DOS ni Pag-asa dito sa aming weather update. Good morning sa iyo, Jel. Good morning po sa lahat ng taga-subaybay ng DOS TV. Patuloy na nakakapekto ang umihan dito na po sa Luzon. At uh, nanatili pa rin uh, buhay pa rin itong low pressure area na sa loob pa rin ng uh, Philippine Area of Responsibility. Nasa layo itong 410 kilometers east-northeast ng Hinatuan, Surigao del Sur. Nanatili pa rin mababa ang tsansa itong uh, magiging bagyo, itong low pressure area. At kasalukuyan, hindi ito nakakapekto sa bansa itong low pressure area. Itong amihan ay uh, matuloy, patuloy magdadala ng uh, manamig na panahon sa malaking bahagi ng Luzon. At nun naman tayo binabantayang uh, low pressure, palibagong low pressure area sa labas ng uh, Philippine Area of Responsibility. Dahil dito, dahil sa Amihan, itong Cagayan Valley, Cordillera ay mga karanas ng uh, maulap na kalangitan na may mga kalat-kalat na mahinang pag-ulan. 
Samantala, ang uh, nalabing bahagi ng Luzon kasama Metro Manila ay patuloy pa rin tayo makaranas ng maniwalas sa panahon. At uh, inasang pa rin natin ang mga isolated na mahinang pag-ulan. Uh, sa Visayas at Bindanao, inasang natin na maganda panahon, mainta panahon, maliban sa mga isolated na mga pag-ulan or thunderstorm. At yung makikita na na sa Metro Davao ay, ay nasaan po na aabot ng 32 degrees Celsius. Sa Buwanga City ay aabot ng 33 degrees Celsius. Dito sa Metro Cebu, yung araw ay nasaan po natin na aabot ng 30 degrees Celsius. As dito naman sa Puerto Princesa City ay nasaan po natin na aabot ng 31 degrees Celsius ngayong araw. At dahil sa Amihan, itong buong seaboard ng Northern Luzon, ito yung uh, mga lugar na maapektuhan Ito nga ay Locos Norte, Locos Sur, Cagayan, Isabela, yung Batanes at Batanes Group of Islands, Baboyan Group of Islands at Kalayan ay uh, papinapayo namin ating, ating mga kababayan. Itong mga baybayan dagat sa mga nabagit na lugar ay inaasahan po natin na matataas ng alon kung sa naabot ng 4.5 meters. Kaya huwag muna tayong pumala doon. Uh, sa sunong tatlong araw, Patuloy mga karanas sa magandang panahon, maliban sa mga isolated na may napagulan sa Metro Manila. Uh, sa Baguio City, ay uh, bukas, ay uh, maulo pa rin na may mga mahinang pagulan. At sa linggo, ay inaasahan po natin na, na magandang panahon. Pero pagdating ng uh, lunes, next week, ay muli po magiging maulap na may mga mahinang pagulan. Dahil pa rin po sa inaasahan natin na amihan na makakapekto sa malaking bahagi ng Luzon. Sa Ligaspi City ay uh, patuloy mga kananas na magandang panahon sa susunod dalawang araw pero pagdating ng uh, lunes next week ay magiging maulap na may mga pagulan at may kasamang thunderstorm. Sa Metro Cebu ay uh, ganoon din magandang panahon sa susunod dalawang araw pero sa lunes ay magiging maulap na kalangitan na may mga kalat-kalat na pagulan at thunderstorm. Sa so, Metro Dabao, patuloy ng mga karanas sa mainit na panahon. Sa lunes po ay nasa nating maulap na kalangitan na may mga kalat-kalat na pag-ulan at thunderstorm. Nasa pa natin ang araw lulubog sa ganap na 5.58 ng hapon. Para sa mga karagdagang update, sunda po kami sa ating official social, uh, social media account at uh, bisitahin po lagi ang ating pag-asa website www.pagasa.usd.gov.ph Mula sa pag-asa, ako po sa Alzar D. Aurelio. DOS TV would like to thank Filipino Creazione de Mano Incorporated. Visit their showroom at Ground Floor Lobby, PSMBFI Building, 318 Santon Road, West Crame, San Juan City. CITAV, the world's leading source of reliable and authoritative news, views, and analysis on information about science and technology for global development. Visit their website at www.sidev.net. And that's it for today. For more information, just log on to www.dostv.ph and visit our social media accounts. Abangan din ang update sa lagay ng panahon mula sa DOST Pag-asa tuwing alas 5 ng umaga at alas 5 ng hapon. Always remember, in progress, science is the key. Kaya sabay-sabay tayong makiisa at gamitin ang siyensya. Kami ang DOST-TV, the program that delivers science for the people.